Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And before we create any more pages, before we can create any albums or add any songs, what we need to do is we need to set up our database. So how the heck do we do that? Well, we need to kind of learn a few things first, a couple core concepts of Django. Now, whenever you set up your project to use Django, it came with a few things that may not be kind of apparent at first, but they're kind of going on behind the scenes. The first thing I want to mention is it came with a default database and that database is SQL Lite or SQLite, whatever you want to call it. And we can verify that by looking at this file. And if you guys don't see this file, then trust me, it's there or it's set up to use it. And if you actually go to website settings and scroll down to around line 77 or maybe different depending on if they change it around, you're going to see that. By default, the databases is set equal to SQLite 3 engine. So Django can use basically any database. It can use uh, Post or MySQL. And those kinds of databases are probably something that you want to use in production. But just for testing, it's really awesome that it came ready to use this right there because you know we don't got to worry about all the hard stuff of setting it up and tweaking the settings or anything like that. So we know that this is good to go. However, the way it's set up right now, we basically have all of our code, all of our apps, and then separately, we have this database. So they're not connected at all. We still need to configure it to work with our code. So before I go on, I wanna show you guys something else. All right. So you know up to this point, what we did is we made one really, really simple, boring app, the music app. And I said, our website is gonna have a bunch of apps. It's gonna have like a videos app. It might have a profile app. I might even put like a photo viewer app in there. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna get crazy and make a whole bunch. Now, even though we can make however many apps we want for our website, what happened is whenever we set up Django, it already came with a bunch of default apps. So admin, authentication session messages and we'll get into exactly what these are later but basically behind the scenes Django is already ready to work with a bunch of apps so these apps right here some of them actually need to access a database they need to set up tables in order to work so if you ever run your server and by the way I'm gonna switch over to this instead of my command line just because I think it's easier to teach that way but go ahead and start your server and check out what you see all right so the server runs fine and we can look at the website just as always but if we take a minute and read this little word right here it says you have unapplied migrations your app may not be working or not work properly until they are applied whenever you see this message right here what it means is your source code your app and all your code it's not in sync with your database all right well that's not good so let's go ahead and get it in sync so go ahead and open up your command prompt or terminal and in order to do that go ahead and type python let me move my cursor out of the way manage.py migrate now go ahead and hit enter and what this is going to do is it's going to sync up your code with your database now I say sync it up, but it's kind of more technical than that. Exactly what's happening is whenever you write migrate, it's going to go in your website settings and it's going to scroll down and it's going to look for installed apps right here. Now for each one, what it's going to do is it's going to go in that apps directory and it's going to look for what tables are needed to pretty much work with this app. So each app, has its own uh, tables that it requires. And for example, whenever we're working on our music app later, we're gonna need a table for albums and we're gonna need another table for songs, so on and so forth. And I know all of that sounds really confusing right now. Like, all right, so you have these apps and they have like databases and they need to like migrate somewhere. What the heck? I promise, as soon as we define one model and we'll just make a really simple one, and do everything manually and it's gonna take like five minutes then you guys are gonna be like oh yeah that makes a lot of sense I promise so check this out for right now let me go ahead and stop my server clear out of there and look 
what it said this time. We don't have any issues, no warnings, and that is because after we ran this command, where are you, right here, Python migrate, it synced up all of our code with our database, so we are now good to go.